their paint sprayer and do a review on it. And I'm coming up, this is the last video of the cradle build, it's time to put a finish on it. I figured this would be a good time to do the review. So let's get started on it. I've never used a paint sprayer before, so this is a big learning curve for me. In the video coming up, in the shots, you're going to probably see me make a lot of mistakes that if you've got any experience doing any painting or spraying shellac or varnish or anything like that, you probably know better, but I didn't. Uh, for instance, this. I thought it was just a handy dandy funnel. Come to find out, it's to check to uh, check your viscosity on your paint. So that's one of the many things that I didn't know when I first began this. During the uh, first few little bit of video, you're going to see me doing some test spraying on some scrap pieces of wood and stuff like that. That went okay. Then you'll see me actually putting the shellac on the cradle. And when after that, I will come back and I'll give you a few final words on what I think of the sprayer and uh, a few of my mistakes. Let's go do it. Losing time, I'm fading fast. I just want to make it last. Try to let go of the past. I close my eyes and brace the black. Sleepless nights and headache stack. Restlessness to hell and back. What's my purpose? I'm sleeping so tired. Sometimes you just gotta go. There's something I don't go really. There's something that'll help you.
And there you have it. That was the last part of this cradle build video series. The sprayer, it worked great. Uh, a lot of a learning curve for me. Like I said, I've never used one before, neither pneumatic or this is electric. Uh, the When you first start using a sprayer, if you're new to it, you might want to try it with some paint. I jumped right into using some shellac, which the viscosity is just thin on it. Uh, to make things, or it seemed to me, make it a little bit more difficult to spray. Uh, during that one thing you saw where I, the cup here, I didn't have it on there tight enough and there was a lot of leaking, so I had to stop and do some brushing out, smoothing out where the drops were. Uh, all of that was on me. Uh, my lack of knowledge. And uh, like I said, I started out with something that I probably should have practiced with some uh, thicker paint like latex or something like that just to get accustomed to how the machine worked. There was a few little dribbles. I kind of had to learn to start way off from, from the project before and start spraying before I actually came over onto the project to keep some of the uh, drips off of it. Another thing, I probably would have done better if I'd have figured out a way to stand the uh, pieces up to spray them instead of trying to spray them flat like that. that. I think that created a few problems for me too. But like I said, that's user error. That's my lack of knowledge in, in, in painting uh, and applying varnish. This uh, this is a cup for checking your viscosity. You put your finger on it, fill up, fill it up with your paint, and in the instructions for it for that, it tells you how many seconds it should take for it to completely run out of that cup. If you've got the right amount of seconds, then you've got the right viscosity for for your liquid. Uh, for me, it didn't have. I really didn't have any idea of how thick a shellac should be or whatever. I found I found with shellac, if you if it's too thick, it it dries too fast, and you have problems. So I went with it straight out of the can, did the best I could, and it turned out okay. Uh, some things I would do different later on, but that's cool. The machine, the sprayer, did fine, did wonderfully. Uh, I'd recommend it if you're interested in a paint sprayer. This one did a right, right fine job for me. Check out the High Chica paint sprayer. The link is down in below in the description. I recommend it. It's a pretty good tool. While you're there, check out some of High Chica's other tools. Uh, I've tried several of them, and I'm very impressed with their quality of tool, and their prices are, aren't too bad either. So check out High Chica. Hi Chica, thank you for giving me the opportunity to try this. Uh, and thank you for all the tools you've allowed me to get, do a review on and try. Uh, you've got some pretty good stuff going on there. Thank you. Um, I believe that'll do it. That's the cradle build. I'll be delivering it to my grandson this week coming weekend. Uh, hopefully he'll like it. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Give me a thumbs up and share my videos. If you're not already a subscriber, pretty please subscribe. And follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Those links are down below in the description. And have a lovely day. Have a lovely night. Have a lovely whatever you're lovely in. Have a lovely life, because life is short, and it's meant to be enjoyed. Peace. Oh, by the way, I'm going to be uh, cutting out some uh, toys, wooden toys, of course, for, you know, the grandson. I'll probably do another video of me using this paint sprayer there, too. So, we'll see how much better I do with paint. <laughs> Thank you for watching.